In many of my videos, I've been seeing comments about noisy air conditioners, and people have been asking what can cause all those different noises on air conditioners. So I sat down and started making a list, and it's actually quite a few things. In fact, the list that I made, I'm sure it's not extensive, it doesn't cover everything, but I came up with 14 things that can cause an air conditioner to be noisy. It's a pretty big list, so let's just jump right in. In no particular order, reason number one is a fan motor that is going bad. So if the bearings inside of a fan motor are starting to go bad, oftentimes it's gonna start squealing super loud. There's gonna be a grinding noise, kind of like a metal on metal sound. It sounds really bad. So whenever the air conditioner is running, this fan will always be making that noise. The best way to deal with this noise problem is to simply replace the fan motor. Now, if that's not an option for you, or maybe you don't wish to replace it because it's running fine, just making a horrendous noise, what you could do is oil the motor. Most modern air conditioners are gonna have a permanently oiled condenser fan motor, but some of them still do have those plugs, little oil plugs that you can take out and squirt oil into. But if your motor does not have those little oil plugs, what you could do is take the motor out by taking this whole top piece off, flipping it over, and oiling it straight at the shaft. Basically where the shaft comes into the motor, you can just squirt oil right into there. Usually I use a zoom spout oiler with a little spout that comes out with turbine oil and that works great. It can quiet it down for a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, and sometimes I've had it where it went for years without any problems and without any noises. If you would like to see an example of how this top piece comes off, I have a video of how I replaced a condenser fan motor on this unit, so you can check that video out to see how I flipped this thing over and how you would oil it right at that spot where the shaft comes into the motor. Reason number two is a cracked or broken fan blade. I've seen it quite a few times where there's a crack in the fan blade and that thing makes a whole ton of noise. And it's sometimes really hard to see, it's just a hairline crack, but as it's spinning really fast, that crack it opens up and that makes quite the racket. And with time, usually what happens is that whole blade will break off. So sometimes I'll come out to a unit where there's a noise complaint and I'll look from on top and I could see that for example, there's supposed to be four fan blades, but there's only three. And then the fourth one is laying on the floor somewhere. The solution to this one is pretty obvious and you simply have to replace that fan blade. If you're not sure how to go about ordering the right part for your air conditioner, I do have a video where I explain how to order HVAC parts. Reason number three is a noisy contactor. Usually it's gonna be a really loud buzzing sound that's coming from your air conditioner. And if you're hearing a really loud buzz, most of the time it's gonna be coming from this contactor. What you could try to do to confirm it is to simply take the electrical panel off the cover piece and then preferably using an insulated screwdriver. Right now my power is completely off so I can do it with this one without worry. Just tap on it on the contactor. It'll either have a cover or it's just gonna be a plunger. Just try tapping on it and see if that changes the buzzing noise at all. If tapping it like that makes the noise go away and it doesn't come back, great. But if the noise keeps coming back, no matter how much you tap it, then you know that the contactor, the contacts on it are probably getting pitted. You could try cleaning them, but I haven't had much luck with doing that before. So generally, if a contactor is really loud, it's buzzing and you can't make it stop, I would just replace the whole contactor. It is a pretty cheap part, and I do have a video on how to replace one if you need it. Reason number four is loose screws on the condenser grates. So the top cover, it gets attached with screws to this grate cover or the guard that's all around the condenser unit. And what I've seen sometimes is these screws are gonna be loose and as the unit is running, it vibrates and these grates from the vibration, they start to rattle against the top cover or the shroud or sometimes the screws are loose on the bottom. So an easy thing to check and fix is to simply check all these screws, make sure that none of them are loose. And if they are, go ahead and tighten them down. You can use a nut driver. If you don't have a nut driver, just use a ratchet wrench with a socket and go ahead and tighten all the screws around on your unit. And oftentimes, if it's like a rattling noise that's coming from the unit itself, from the surroundings, that will be enough to take care of it. Problem number five is noise coming from the top shroud, the top cover of the air conditioner. This unit probably wouldn't have a problem like that, but some air conditioners have this top grate. It kind of looks like a dome, and there's screws that connect it on the outside perimeter. This fan motor is mounted right in the middle, so most likely that wouldn't be a problem. But then again, if these screws were loose, it could be a problem. So that, that is one thing you could check to make sure these screws or bolts are tight. But mostly what I'm talking about here is one of those dome-shaped ones that have the screws on the outside. And sometimes that top grate or shroud 
once again, is gonna rattle from the vibration and just hit on the cabinet of the air conditioner on the top cover, and that rattle could get pretty loud. The easiest solution to this is to simply take a pair of pliers, find the spot that is hitting the cabinet, and just bend it a little bit, bend it upwards, and problem solved. If that's not enough, what you could do is put a washer between the bolt and that shroud to just raise it a little bit so it's not making contact. Or the easiest solution yet, I've seen people simply take a big brick and put it right on top of their air conditioner. And that seems to work just great. They say they've had it like that for five or 10 years and they don't care that there's a brick on top of their unit. Noise problem number six is a loud compressor. Now I do wanna point out that some scroll compressors are loud when they start and when they turn off. Sometimes they come off with like a big click and a rattle. And that seems to be normal for those scroll compressors. They, they operate like that and every time they turn off, they sound like that. Mostly what I'm talking about here is if the compressor is noisy while the unit is running. It could be a variety of different sounds, like a grinding or a clanking or a screeching. And if this noise problem is accompanied with your AC not cooling the house, then most likely that compressor is shot. The pistons inside the compressor may be broken. Maybe there's something wrong with the valves or if it's a scroll compressor, the scrolls are grinding against each other. All of that is bad signs and you probably will have to call out an HVAC technician to take a look. Replacing compressors is really expensive, so most of the time people end up getting a whole new unit if it's the compressor that's bad. And I actually had this down as number six and seven. So my points were, if it's making a noise when it's starting and shutting off, that's normal, especially if your air conditioner is working just fine, cooling the house, no problems, you're just irritated about the noise. And number seven was, if it's noisy all the time, that's usually a bad sign. Turn it off, call a technician. But if your unit is running a little loud and there's nothing wrong with it, there is one thing you could do, and that's to put on a sound blanket on the compressor, and that can reduce the noise that that compressor gives off up to 50%. So those things really do work. By the way, I have had people tell me that they don't know the difference. They can't tell if it's the fan motor or the compressor that is making the sound. It's very easy to isolate that problem. And here, let me show you quick how you would do it. For example, on this unit right here, I have the power completely off right now. What you would do is look at the condenser fan motor from the top and see if you can see what wires are coming out of it. If you can't, that's okay. You should be able to find them and trace them from inside the electrical section as well. In my case, the wires that come out of the fan motor are these three right here. So what I would do with the power completely off is disconnect all the wires that are coming from the fan. So I would disconnect this wire right here, this one from the capacitor and this one from the capacitor. Then make sure that the wire connectors are not touching anything metal. Just leave them hanging out like this. Or even better yet, you can just put some black electrical tape around it to make sure they don't touch and short anything out. So once you have all the wires from the fan motor disconnected, go ahead and turn the power back onto your air conditioner and see if it's still making that horrendous noise. If the air conditioner stops making the noise, whatever noise it was making, with the condenser fan motor disconnected, well then of course you know that the problem is in the condenser fan motor. And you can do the same thing with the compressor. Just trace what wires come from the compressor and then go ahead and disconnect those wires and only let the fan motor run and see if it's still making that noise. Or you can disconnect both of them and then set your thermostat to cooling and that should pull in the plunger on the contactor. So if you're not sure if the buzzing noise or whatever sound is coming from the contactor or not, that is one thing you could do as well. Or even easier yet would be to turn off the power to the condenser unit outside, but turn the thermostat on to cooling. And you can do that simply by following the electric whip and turn the power off at the disconnect, or you could also turn the power off at the breaker panel inside the house. That way, the only thing that is energized outside at the condenser unit would be the contactor coil right over here, but everything else, the high voltage side, will be turned off. And reason number eight is if your air conditioner is running, and while it's running, sometimes you hear it rapidly do like a double click sound, like click, 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 but the unit does keep running as it's doing that. Usually what is causing this is the thermostat. Maybe there's a loose wire in the thermostat. You could take the thermostat off the base and just gently tug on each of the wires, see if any of them are loose, and if they are, tighten them down. And another thing that I've seen a few times before are weak batteries on the thermostat, and they were causing the unit outside to short cycle like that, just to rapidly turn on and off. And sometimes it would be so fast that the unit would actually keep running. So two practical things you could try doing to fix that, if you're hearing that on your unit, is check for loose wires at the thermostat itself and also at the furnace control board. There's also a thermostat strip over there and replace the batteries on your thermostat. 
And reason number nine is bubbling sounds. Sometimes this can be caused by a plugged up drain or a partially plugged condensate drain. So the drain pan, which sits on the bottom of the evaporator coil, usually water gathers up in there and then it goes down the drain port and into the drain hose or the pipe, depending on what kind of setup you have. If that drain port or pipe is partially plugged, the water is gonna start to pool up and you're gonna get like this gargle sound as it kind of gargles or bubbles into that pipe. So if you're hearing a noise like that, you could try cleaning that condensate drain line out and hopefully that will solve your noise issue. Another thing that can kind of cause that bubbling or gurgling sound is the refrigeration lines. So if you're inside by your furnace, typically it's gonna be by the furnace, by the metering device, and you're hearing a bubbling sound inside of the refrigerant pipes, wherever they're coming in from, typically what that means is that there's some small air bubbles trapped inside of the refrigeration systems. So as the refrigerant is flowing through the pipes, it's making that little bubbly noise. If your unit is working just fine and you're not having any problems, I would just ignore it because fixing something like that will become pretty expensive because they have to pull all the refrigerant out, vacuum the unit and put new refrigerant in. And number 10, rattling noises inside. These can come in many variations and forms and you, honestly, you just have to track it down. Just listen to the noise and see if you could narrow it down where's that noise coming from. I can give you a few different examples. One call I went on, the lady was saying that her furnace is making a really loud rattling sound. And when I came down there, there was a metal picture frame leaning on the side of the furnace. So whenever the furnace blower motor would come on with the air conditioner, the furnace would start to vibrate a little bit and that would cause that metal picture frame to rattle. So all I had to do was remove that metal picture frame and problem solved. Another time I had a piece of insulation from the bottom of the furnace come undone, just one corner. And every time the blower motor comes on, you would just hear that thing flapping away really fast. Just they thought something was really wrong, but really it was just that thing. So I secured it back down with just some tape and everything was good. Another similar example is when the bottom of the furnace, there was like a thin piece of sheet metal underneath that insulation. It had come undone like a few of the corners, I guess with time, with rust and whatever else, they came undone. Every time the blower motor came on, there was a rattle. With this one, I cheated a little bit. I simply took a piece of two by four and shoved it in between the blower motor housing and the bottom of the furnace and noise was gone. And last example, the noise was coming from ductwork. So once again, customer calls me out because of a noise complaint. I come out there and I just start listening. So I narrowed it down to the ductwork and I found a patch of sheet metal. I guess they opened up the ductwork at one point that they had put on there and taped. And with time, that tape came undone. Every time the blower motor came on, it would start to rattle as the patch, the piece of sheet metal and the ductwork was hitting each other. So I peeled the old tape off, put a new piece of sheet metal tape on and everything was good. So long story short, if the noise is coming from inside the house when the air conditioner is running, try to narrow down where exactly that noise is coming from and oftentimes fixing it will be pretty easy. And number 11 is whistling noises inside the house. If you're hearing this by the furnace, most likely it's either a very, very dirty furnace filter try replacing it or just take it out and see if that changes the noise. Or maybe the A coil, the evaporator coil that sits on top of the furnace is frozen over. If there's a bunch of ice there, then the air is struggling to get past it. And that's what makes that whistling sound. Almost like you crack a window open and you hear that whistling sound, similar to that. An easy way to find out if your coil is frozen or not is to simply go outside. And there's a good chance that the line, one of the refrigerant lines, the suction line, the bigger one, is gonna have some ice over it. And maybe if you look inside of the unit, you're gonna see some icing on the pipes inside and the compressor itself. If you see any ice outside, that means the unit inside is completely frozen over. And if you're wondering what could cause that, I have another video called Eight Reasons Why Your Air Conditioner Is Freezing Up. So take a look at that. And one more thing that could cause a whistle is blocked off return drills. So if you have big returns in the house and you have a couch in front of it or something else, a shelf placed right in front of it, that could cause it to be whistling. And actually really those things should not be blocked at all. So if you have anything in front of those return grills, make sure to move them away so that return grill has room to suck the air in from inside that room. And while you're at it, check and make sure that those return grills are not full of dust and a bunch of other dirt. If they are, that could cause a little bit of a noise as well as it's sucking air in through it. Clean all of that up is gonna make your unit more efficient and it will reduce the noise. Number 12 is hissing noise. If this is new, if it's a new development where your unit turns off and you can hear a hiss, even with the air conditioner off, it's just a steady hissing noise. That usually means there's some kind of a refrigerant leak somewhere. That's a bad sign. You probably will wanna call out a technician to take a look and discover where that leak is coming from and hopefully get it fixed. 
This type of hissing noise could be heard inside or outside. For example, if you're mowing your grass and you hit a rock, and when you're done mowing your grass, as you're walking past your air conditioner, you hear a hissing noise, that's probably a bad sign. But there is one more other type of hissing noise, which is a lot louder, and that happens from the compressor. So if for some reason the condenser fan motor does not turn on, or if your coil is super dirty, the compressor is gonna start to overheat, the pressures inside of it are gonna start going up, and if the pressures build up too much, the compressor has an internal pressure relief valve that will pop open and it'll start hissing super loud. If that happens and you're standing next to the unit when it starts hissing like that, it's really startling. It's almost like the compressor blew up or something. If something like that happens, that is a pretty serious problem. I would turn everything off immediately and just check it. First, I would check if the condenser fan motor is good. If that thing was not running, that's probably why the compressor overheated. And just take a look at your coil. If it's completely plastered with dust and cottonwood and whatever else, clean that up real good before you try running the unit again. If you wanna check the condenser fan motor without turning the compressor on, remember how I mentioned you can disconnect the wires? So just do that same thing here in this situation. You would just disconnect the compressor and turn the unit on and see if that fan motor comes on. And moving on to number 13. Number 13 is a pulsating noise or a little buzzing noise inside the house, typically on the walls or inside the walls or the ceilings. What I've seen cause this before is the refrigerant line sets. So these copper pipes, if you trace them from the unit, where they go into the wall. Sometimes with time, depending on what kind of insulation they put around these pipes, that insulation will come out or maybe wasps used it as building material or something. And if for some reason, whatever insulation was around those pipes is gone, these pipes are gonna start rubbing or vibrating against the wall of the house. And that vibration is gonna spread out throughout all of the wall and maybe the ceiling. So like pretty much your whole lower floor is gonna have this little vibration sound going all through it. So one good thing to check is to see if these pipes are touching any part of the wall or any wood outside and inside the house. If you have open ceilings especially, so you can see those copper pipes, it's good to see if they're touching against anything and causing that vibration or pulsating rattling sound. If you do discover a spot where the pipes are touching the wall or something else without any insulation in between them, then simply put some rubber or foam insulation, wrap it around those pipes or just in that one spot to dampen that noise and stop the vibration from spreading out through everything. And number 14, the condenser base is making noise. So on this unit, this would not be relevant, but on many air conditioners, they just have a slab underneath of it. And for many of them, that slab underneath it is gonna be plastic. What can happen with time is maybe the dirt gets washed away or the rocks kind of go away from underneath it and that pad becomes imbalanced. And once again, when the unit comes on and it starts to vibrate, that might cause it to shake a little bit and cause that pad to make a rattle noise. This problem would be really easy to check. Simply go all around the air conditioner and just press down on the pad from all sides or try pulling it up and see if that stops the noise. If it does, all you have to do is simply lift the pad up a little bit and shove some dirt and rocks underneath it. And hopefully that's gonna be all that is needed to solve that noise. The few times I've encountered that, just sticking some stuff underneath the pad was all that was needed to take care of that noise. Well guys, and that is all I had for you today. I hope you found this list useful. I did go through it a little bit quickly and that's because there was a lot of stuff to cover, but I know I may have missed some stuff. And if I missed something that you know of, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, I got a good dad joke for you when you're out eating a hamburger with somebody. So this is what you say. How did the hamburger introduce his wife? He said, meet Patty. How it's supposed to feel.